Okay, this is a powerful little weapon. Um, if you can get your right hand and your bass drum, right foot obviously, um, to um, work in cahoots with each other, so you get one to two to three to four to one to two to three to four to one, really build that up, you can um, really have a weapon of mass seduction here. <laughs> Where did I rip that line off from? Okay, there it is there. My turn to snare. Now that's a, a cool little shuffle beat. about to go into a solo there but I'll just hold back just for one second. Basically what happens there is the right hand and the right foot are playing together as a shuffle. One to two to three to four to one. Obviously triplet based. Hi-hat on two and four is always great so you get a, a foot ostinato like this. One to two to three to four to one to two to three to four to one to two. Now for that, that little bit then I was actually playing with heels down. Once again try and clarify this idea of I only play heels down, I only play heels up and all that. I treat heels down and heels up like gears on a car once again in the sense that um, if I'm playing slowly I'll probably play heels down. If I play a little bit quickly and use, utilizing the bounce of the pedal of course I'll go to heels up and all that sort of stuff. So I use both. I, I don't know what the argument is with only use heels up because the thing is for a beginning student if you try and do everything on your tippy toes uh, when you first start you usually fall off the, the stool because you haven't got your balance quite together yet so that's the, the thing I'd like to say is just start off with heels down just put them on because you are a tripod at the end of the day you've got two legs and a backside so treat like a try and get yourself balanced and then of course bit by bit you you heels up if you need it now when I play it Slowly, like I said, I'm heels down. One to two to three to four. That's all heels down. But when I go a bit quicker, that is now heels up. So use both, right? Now try and play triplet step. Finger control. There it is there. There it is there. So that's just something with this. One to two to three to four to one to two to three to four. Now I'll get a little bit tribal with this, I'll use the mallet side and I'll go to triplets, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. Now I'll bring in some mixed sticking with this. That's a double paradiddle. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Mix it up. That gets a real rollicking nature about it. Now the thing is I was getting tribal then, but what I'll finish off with now is getting a little bit jazzy, right? Now I'll get a little complicated here. Can you see? 
see I'm using three toms. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Now that's implying one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But look at the hi hat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I'm playing a three, four figure over a four, four jazz rhythm. Now. And with the cymbals, I was implying something else again. How about I do seven? With seven, lovely Italian actress in the 50s and 60s was Gina Lola Brigida. She has a seven syllable name. Gina Lola Brigida, Gina Lola Brigida. Lola Brigida, Gina Lola Brigida, Gina Lola Brigida, Gina Lola Brigida. What was that at the end? <laughs> Get the idea? That was just something to finish off with. I hope you enjoyed that. That ended up being three things. Three, four, 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 seven, four. Wow, where do you use that? Bands like Lamb of God, I think, and some of your super metal kind of dudes, you know, like very intricate metal things, they start overlaying different uh, time signatures and stuff like that. Not that that was really a Lamb of God kind of a thing. That's <laughs> a whole different bag. But um, the thing about it is taking different time signatures and putting them together. Hope you got something out of this show. It's a few different things, but I see them as all related. So I hope you do too. Okay, take care. Good night.